to me, design is like solving a puzzle. Design to me is kind of like a choreography. Design to me is anything creative. So I kind of compare design to a conductor for an orchestra. I think about like the ways that um, designers look at typography and space and color and form and we orchestrate it in a way where we create hierarchy so that um, when people look at a poster they know the first thing to look at is and what the second thing we want you to look at is. Design stemmed from my passion of art when I was younger. I used to spend a lot of time drawing which then pushed me to explore new things such as design. It started out as you know, a passion for visual images and just, you know, drawing and painting and like art. And then I, I learned what design was and I fell in love with it. When you're working with clients, you do have to um, basically create whatever they want, whatever their company is for, whatever their project is for. Um, and that puts a lot of limitations on a designer. You shouldn't view it as like constricting limitations. You should view it as a chance to like adapt yourself around these limitations and make it work because that's where the problem solving comes in and that's where you know the beauty of design is it's where you fulfill these limitations but then you also you know put your own inspiration into it too i want a career where they trust me and of course i'm going to look to their feedback and like brainstorm with them but at the end of the day i want to be the the artist i want to be the person who creates so you're going to get both you're going to have people who have a very firm idea and you're going to have people who have no idea and like the nice thing about both of them is that sometimes you want the restraint and sometimes you don't. But at the end of the day, you still have to argue your point and you have to stand your ground and say that like the decisions that you made aren't arbitrary, that you they're very meaningful decisions and that they're really purposeful.